G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and in this video I'm going to talk you through the AMP script function query parameter and how you can use it on your cloud pages to retrieve values from your URLs. So the query parameter function is an absolute must know for any Salesforce developer working in cloud pages. If we scroll down on our documentation to our science section, you'll find the query parameter documentation. As you can see, it's beautifully simple to use, it just has one ordinal. And for that ordinal, we produce the key used to pull the value from the URL. As you can see from the example, the query parameter for J in our URL string here will return the value of Tim. As you can see, question mark J equals Tim. So let's try it out for ourselves inside of Marketing Cloud. So once we're logged into Marketing Cloud, we can jump into our cloud pages from Web Studio, jump into a collection and make ourselves a brand new landing page. So we're going to create content and create landing page. Let's call this one Cam Test for today. We'll go next and choose a nice blank page. Now the AMP script that we need is the same as in our sample AMP script from our documentation. So let's copy the set var and query parameter, copy that and go back into our cloud page. So on our cloud page, click on default. Let's drag in a nice HTML section for us to edit with today. So let's do an AMP script code block to start with. Just like that, 4% signs in our code brackets. We can paste in the value of the example text from the documentation. So we're going to set the variable of var to be equal to the query parameter of j. Right, like j, let's change that to astro. So set at var will be equal to the URL value for astro. Once we have that value, we should probably print it out. So we'll go percent percent equals v. We can print out that value of astro. So we'll say astro equals and output var. Perfect. Let's go schedule and publish. We can publish this page and try it out for ourselves. And we'll go publish. As you can see, before we press publish, astro is equal to nothing right now because there is no URL value for astro in the URL string for this page. So we'll publish it. And we'll try it out for ourselves. The page is published. Fantastic. Let's click on the link to load up our cloud page. Now astro equals nothing. That's okay. If I change the URL parameter to say astro is equal to cam. So say astro equals cam and press enter. Now it's going to say astro equals cam. Perfect. If we say astro equals trailblazer and press enter, astro equals trailblazer. Awesome. So we can pull values from our URL string as it's shown inside of our Chrome or other browser. Let's jump back into our cloud page and run fire some more code and we'll try add some more parameters. So right now we're just listening for the value of astro, but let's add some more in. How about we do values A, B, and C by listening for A, B, and C. And of course to do this, we should also print out those values to make sure we're listening to them. So same again, we'll say A, B, and C outputting the at a, at b, and at c variables. So there we go. We'll listen for astro a, b, and c, printing out var a, b, and c. Let's save and publish this cloud page. And of course, there's no URL set just yet, so they're all blank. We'll publish that page. And hopefully we can jump back into our cloud page by clicking on our link. We should see, okay, a, b, and c. So let's try it out. If we say, question mark, astro equals trailblazer again, we'll get trailblazer. Awesome. If we then add the and symbol and say a equals one and the and symbol again, b equals two and the and symbol, oops, and c equals three and press enter, we get one, two, three for a, b, c. Awesome. But we haven't listened to d. So if we said and d equals four, we won't get that value pulled through. We've only been listening for the astro, a, b, and c values in our URL. So how can you use the query parameter function in your production cloud pages? Well, to start with, you can use it to listen to values that you've personalized in your emails for your subscribers. For example, you could personalize a link in your email so when a subscriber clicks on it, those values are sent through in the URL and then retrieved through this function on your cloud page. Additionally, you can make a form on your cloud page. I'll show you how that works. Jump it back into our cloud page here. You can go into our code. Let's make ourselves a form. This is very common on your preference cloud pages or perhaps even a campaign landing page. 
So we use our form, we'll make an input function. Our input here is going to be for a text value. So input type, we equal to text, and the name, we'll call this one astro. So for our astro input, we can actually put astro at the front for a name. So astro will be in our text input, just like that. Now below that, we can put some more values as well. So let's put in two more values. We'll also listen for the value of A and B, the name A and B. Fantastic. Below that, we'll put the input for a type equals submit, which of course will give us the submit button. And there we go. Here's our nice little website form. Now for our method, we are going to use the get method which means that the values inside of our form here, the name values of Astro A and B, we sent through as URL parameters back onto this cloud page. So let's try it out. Press done and schedule and preview this page. Now it should show our nice form at the top. And of course, no values set so far. So we'll publish our page. Let's check it out in production. So we'll click our link and here is our cloud page form. Now as normal, we've got no values set for Astro A, B or C. What I can do though, I can go up to my top again, question mark, and Astro equals Trailblazer, one, two, three. In my form though, I can fill out. So how about Astro equals yes. A is blank and B is blank, and I'll go submit. When I've done this, it's cleared those values and sent through my new URL parameters where Astro equals yes, A was blank, and B was blank. So I could say Astro equals yes, A equals one, and B equals two, and press submit. By pressing submit, it's resubmitted that query to this page, and the page is listening to those values, picking up Astro equals yes, A equals one, and B equals two. Now there are many, many more ways that you can apply the query parameter mscript function to your cloud pages, but I hope for today, these few examples have given you some inspiration to try it out for yourself and explore to see what's possible. If you enjoyed today's video, then please give it a like and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.